everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today we're going to get into a video all about making dust covers for those amazing candles that you've already made. So here you can see my dust cover just sitting on top and this is just a bit of an example but we will go step by step and I'll show you how to do it. To make these we just simply need some card or some other products and of course we need the Cricut machine. So in front of me here as I'm showing you here are some utensils that you can use. You definitely need these to use them and Cricut have so many accessories that you can purchase from different stores. If you're in Australia Spotlight do have all the Cricut accessories and of course they do have the mats and so on. So now if you want to know a little bit about this machine, it's an electronic cutting machine. That is what Cricut is. And it's great for homemakers, crafters and so on. And then we can make these amazing things. The thing is too, it doesn't just do card. It can do leather. It can do vinyl, the printable vinyl. It can do transfers, wood. I mean, there's so many things that it can do. Of course, cardstock and paper. So there's lots and lots of things this machine can do. It can cut, it can score, you can make boxes. I mean, it is honestly endless. And you know, because I've shown you lots of videos of me making things as we go along. But today I just wanted to talk about that a little bit so that you'll know. The one we're using is called the Cricut Maker. And this is um, an absolutely amazing machine. It's super, super fast. And all you need to do with this is you just have your iPad or your phone, um, you know, or your computer, and you're just going to have a cable run from the Cricut machine back through to your device. And that way they talk to each other. So before we do all that, we need to go on Cricut's platform, which is Design Space. Now, Design Space is their software, and that's where you design everything. And then once you've designed it, we tell the machine to cut it, and then the machine cuts it and makes it absolutely amazing. So it's as simple as that. It's really simple to use. Honestly, it is. I am not super duper good on computers, but I can make this so I know you can too. So let's head over to Design Space and keep going. So now we are in Design Space. So this is the software for Cricut. And if you've bought a new machine, just follow the prompts until you get to here and then it will bring you to the Design Space. So like I said, we are going to be making a dust cover for a candle and our candle is circular. So we've measured the inner part of the candle, uh, the top of the candle, and we know that it's 8 centimetres by 8 centimetres because it is a circle. So what we're going to do now is along the side here that you'll be able to see, these are all the little um, things that we can do. We can make text on it if we want. We can make shapes and things like that. But I'm just going to teach you a basic one so that you can find it a little bit easier and it helps to find your feet when you're really starting um, to use this program so we're just going to go in here and push shapes because we know obviously our candle like I said is a circle so we need one circle to start with and this circle is going to be the main circle now we do need to cut out another circle because remember we want to cut the inner part of the circle out so that the wick will fit through the top of the circle so to make it easy we're just going to do um, you know a cotton wick which would just be a straight one rather than and, you know if you did woodwork it's a little bit more tricky but it's still just a shape so we've got our two there and now if you can think about if you're going to take the dust cover off a candle obviously you want to make it easy so we want to put a little tab on the side that sticks out so people can just pull that off so now we're just going to choose this shape here you can choose whatever shape you want they don't have to be plain and we'll move this to the side because we don't need this one or this one yet. So now this is the inner part of our candle. And if we go up the top, here is our measurements here. So where it says size, we're going to put in the 8 centimetres that I said. Because remember, the candle is 8 centimetres in diameter. And that's the great thing that I really like about Cricut. It gives you these exact measurements. So you know you're right every time. So like I said, now we do have this. This is our main part of our candle. Now this little circle here is going to be the bit that we're going to cut out. To make it easy so that you can easily see what we're doing, you can actually change the colour. So just so that I can show you easily, I'm going to just change it to white. The colour doesn't matter. We're not printing it. It's just going to cut it. It's just so that you can easily see. 
So now this little bit here is going to go in the middle and obviously this is way too big. So you can just resize it to whatever size you want. And then if you can see, um, I'll move this out the way. If you can see this little circle up the top, it's saying it's 1.3. So that's literally what it's going to be. It's nice and tiny. We'll put this in the middle. Now, you're never going to get this exact on your own. So what we actually need to do is we need to align it. So we're just going to go over both circles. So hold down with, um, you know, your mouse and the left um, side of the cursor. Hold over, hover over the top, and that way you've done them both together. And we're going to push a line. Now, if we go to center, that means in the middle of this little tiny circle, it's going to center it exactly so that the wick will fit perfectly through. And now it's done. Everything on that bit that we want to do is right. Now, there's something else that we need to do. Remember, we want to cut this out and it's not going to cut it out unless we tell it to. So now we need to go down the bottom here. You can see this little bar here. And what we're going to do is push slice and slice literally means it's going to cut it. And of course, we know, don't we, that we actually want that to be done. So once we've done that, along the side here, it leaves everything. So we can tell it we don't actually want these. We don't want this circle. So let's just delete that. And we also don't want this middle bit. So let's delete that. Now you can see that all we're left with is this and it has cut out the circle for us. Now this bit here is our little tab. So you can just size it however you want. You can move it. So all you do is just dragging it. If you can see here, I'm just holding the edge and dragging it. And then let go when you're happy with it. And you can also turn it around. You don't have to keep it straight. If you can see these little um, arrow and just spin it around. So we want it to go on an angle and we're going to push it in here. And we're going to make this look like it's actually a part of this tab in a minute. So um, now if you can see that, we'll get off that and see how it's got this little tab that's going to allow someone to pull it out. But of course, it's not going to um, cut it properly unless we tell it once again. So we're just going to hover over everything. So now you can see we've hovered over it all. And now we're going to push what's called weld. Weld means they're making it all one piece. And can you see now that that line that was there is gone? So it's literally going to cut all the way around here, around the outside and so on. Now, when you've actually got this, you don't want to waste the paper and cut one. I'm sure you want to cut 10 or 20 or whatever you want to cut on the paper. So you can actually just go over the top so you can see I've clicked on it and we can just duplicate it. And you can see duplicate's given us two, and then you can duplicate it and three, and whatever you want to do. Um, but you know, so, but we won't do that, we'll just do two. So just for today's purpose, don't worry where it sits on the screen, because Cricut software is going to just align it all before we get to the next step. So literally, this is all we need to do on here. So I'm going to show you how we actually get from here and now how we're going to get um, through to the machine and start to cut it. And then, of course, put it on our candle. So I'm going to show you everything along the way and show you how lovely this is really going to turn out. So as I said, we do have everything, you know, that we've got here. So now this green button at the top, we are going to push make it. And we'll go to the next bit. And this is going to start to bring you to the next screen. And for this bit here, it says on the mat, I'm going to put it on a mat. So this is just a standard mat. And we'll push continue. These standard mats um, are a part of Cricut's range. You can buy these at Spotlight if you're in Australia. If you're in America, I am sure that there are many, many places that you can get them. But in Australia, Spotlight is the main place that you can get Cricut products um, that I know of. And like I said, you know, and oh, also I've got to tell you too, there are mats for different things. So some mats are low grip. So if you're doing paper, you don't want to have a mat that says fabric because obviously the mat that's fabric is more sticky and it's going to hold it more. So you don't want it to rip the paper. So now we've got it on the screen. You can see it here. And this is telling you how it's going to cut it. So from here, I'm just going to go and organize everything else. I'm going to get the mat and the paper. And then we are going to put it in the machine. Once I've got all my paper and everything ready, we are going to push this. So we'll push continue. And now it's going to find the machine that I've already set up. 
and you can see in here this will give you lots of different options you know you push if it's vinyl you would be pushing vinyl if it's you know foil you push foil and so on but for this it's just a light cardstock so we're just going to push light cardstock and now let's get on to the next bit it's telling you these are the things that you need we already have this in this is the main one you're going to use which is basically the cutter that's just in it as well and now we are going to be on to the next bit so once you've done this the Cricut machine will actually start to flash and it will tell you exactly the next steps so I'm going to end our video on this bit here and now I will show you in person on the machine how we're going to do it and how easy it is. And you will see how actually super fast this is. I actually couldn't believe it when I did a test on this new machine how fast it is um, because the programs just get better all the time. And, um, you know, it's really amazing. But anyway, let me show you this bit and then we will make them and you will be so happy to see how gorgeous they're going to look. So let's go. We have now finished in Design Space. So now this is the last bit to finish our project. So here we do have the mat and this is a Cricut mat, of course. And so we're just going to load our paper on the top. When I say load, I mean just place it within the grid. There is a line on the left and hand side and then, of course, on the top. And we're just going to pop it in there. And now the Cricut machine will flush like it's doing now and that means it's ready for you just to slowly and gently guide um, the mat in and then the machine will actually pull it in for you. Once that stops flashing, a second button will actually flash and that has the symbol of the Cricut machine on it and then basically that means it's ready to cut. So it's going to just go over it. It's going to read all the lines that it's put in through the program and then of course it's going to cut it precisely to the measurements that you said and that is what I really love about it that it really does cut exactly so if you tell it 8.1 centimeters it will cut 8.1 centimeters and that's the good thing especially when you're doing labels or things like this where you need it to fit snugly inside a candle jar so like I said it's going to just cut everything now and make everything look absolutely gorgeous so I've tried to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial today just so that you understand the basics of make, making something basic like this and cutting it because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when you don't know what you're doing and I know lots of my subscribers have said they are buying a Cricut machine after me talking about it so much over the last year and I know you're going to love it. You can make your labels for your um, products that you're selling and so on. So now now it's just clicked its little button again and that means the light is flashing and it's telling us to remove it now. So we've removed it. You can take the paper off really easily. It just will glide off easily. And look, it's cut the circle out and it's left everything exactly as we wanted. So now we will go over to the candle, pop it in and double check that it's looking beautiful. You can use any different paper as well. You don't have to just use this one. So try out different papers and see what you actually think. And I have to give a massive thank you to Cricut for uh, collaborating with me. I feel so, so blessed that they even wanted to collaborate with someone like me. As I always say, now let's have a laugh. I'm just a mum from the suburbs, which I am. I'm just a mum from the outer suburbs in Melbourne doing my little thing and hopefully bringing some education and letting us all have fun because this should be fun. Whether it's a business, whether you're doing this as a hobby, you can do this. It's so much fun. And like I said, you'll get really fast at the program it's like anything once you're first learning you kind of think oh no and but then as you go on you'll realize that it's really easy it's actually not hard it's there's a lot of step-by-step -step tutorials anyway thanks so much everyone i will see you on the next video and like i said a massive thank you for cricket bye